Hey there, ViewBots! This is Cy Rockham again. Welcome back to Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time, we landed on our new planet, which, between episodes, I have decided to call Nova Genesis. New beginning. I believe Genesis is literally beginning. I'm pretty sure it's one way or another it's like start or something. And we've got aliens all screwing around our city. But we're going to ignore them for now. We're just going to build something after we just finished up the Ark Soldier. Who, uh, one thing that I should note is that, unlike in Civ Five, there are no unique units to any specific sponsor slash civilization. There are only unique units to whatever affinity you choose. And also affinities, there aren't really flavors, per se, to any specific sponsor as to what affinity they would choose, especially not the AI. I just feel like, I forget where I read it at or heard it, but it just seems like Ark is more of a purity kind of sieve. But it really doesn't matter which purity you choose. It does not benefit any particular sponsor more than another. So just go with whatever you want to do. And I just like purity. So what do I want to do? I've got, um, hmm. I don't know how screwy the alien's going to be with a worker. But it might not be a bad thing to do. This would get us culture. And culture gets us closer to getting one of these. So what would be the first ones we can get? Uh, experience. That'd be nice. Food for cities to grow. Science. Production towards buildings. I don't really know if I want any of these in particular. They're looking... They're not bad, though. Let me see. What is the first one that will get me satellite? Uh, not satellite things. Spy-related things. Culture. Energy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Culture, 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 culture. Explorers. Uh, intrigue. Here we are. 40% more intrigue from covert, opera covert operations. That's definitely something we want to go for. I don't know how much combat we're going to be engaging in. Orbital units. Science, population, energy. Hmm. Strategic resources. Free affinity. That's fancy. Uh, let's... Hmm. Trade routes. I don't know. I think we are pretty close to the African Union over here. I don't know how much land and seas in between us, but it seems like not too much. And I'm gonna settle my next city right there. It seems like a solid idea. So I think I'm going to just build myself... I can't even build a settler, can I? I'm not in too big of a rush for... Oh wait, no, uh, explorer workers. Yeah, let's just do a worker. And you... Okay, yeah, you can't move anymore. Next turn. Uh, quest updated. What do we have here? Music's cool. Solid state citizen. The spacecraft plummeted through the atmosphere and crashed not far away. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Who built it there is intention, yo. Uh, we will find out in time once you have investigated the wreckage more fully. Found an outpost. I like that. For a colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching how to create new outposts for the colony. How do I do that? Is that... Um, hmm. Where is that at? Oh, that one's purity. Genetics and purity, purity affinity. Oh, that gives a benefit to purity. A little bit of supremacy there. For autonomous systems. Genetic mapping, interesting. Where are settlers? Oh, there's a colonist. It's still in pioneering. We don't have enough science quite yet. 
gonna move that guy farther away. Let's another. What is that? That's a Reslin. It's like an alien nest. What an ugly looking thing. Eesh. Alright, what else? So these are just general things that I can choose from. There's not really any that I can kind of focus on. I just get bon benefits once all this stuff is, uh, once I succeed in these. Since o Blood Bank, since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Securing, securing and improving our new territory has put great strain on both our military and civil workforces, and both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored health care. Our fledgling colony does not have the resources to do both. Which, then, has the greater need of aid? So it's either... Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know what that will do. Uh, yeah, that one I know would be good. It's, um... Uh, I don't know. I guess that's just what you build first. Oh, whatever. I think that'll be... Oh, I have to do this right now. So I'll either get uh, more hit points for the defense workers or more health in the clinics or civil workers. I think that's kind of what I want to go for. Got one more health. Defense and security are vital, but our colonists, our colony must invest in infrastructure if we are to truly thrive. Our civil workers are the engine, are the engine that power our growth and our economy. Providing them with care is a small price to pay for us to safeguard that progress. I think we'll be fine. Very nice. All right, now I can choose to move on. Cool. I like the little quests that it can get, give us. I have something that needs your attention. Keeping your citizens healthy is key to pr a productive colony. Additional citizens make your colony more unhealthy, while virtues and some buildings provide positive health to counteract it. Try to keep your uh, people healthy to avoid research and cultural penalties. So it seems like health is kind of like happiness, as it would seem. Uh, like he happiness from Civ 5. Three citizens. Okay, we we got five health though. We're doing all right. Okay, this guy. I think I'll keep moving him around here. Your, Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to be found. Cool. Where's the artifact? Okay, it's over there. Thank you. I'll definitely make my way over there. I think I will, uh... Oh, wow, there are a lot of guys. One of our units has Crap. walked into a cloud of strange alien miasma. This miasma is toxic and will damage our units and equipment if they remain here. Poo. Until we understand this substance better, we should avoid it if possible. There's a lot of freaking miasma. There's not really a safe way to go through all this. It's gonna take a little damage going around and... Even that is in miasma, so we're not really going to be able to get that for a minute, are we? A hot minute. Yeah, let's get our guys out of there. Oh, wait, oh, you can't even stay on the same tile, can you? So they're not quite like a worker. I don't know, that's interesting, though. I like his jacket. It's like a duster. It's cool. Alright, you can... What's it? Uh, upon seeing an enemy, you can receive a defensive bonus. You know, uh, yeah, let's go fortify. These aliens. Ooh, hey there. Frank Lacroix. Venez, mettez vous à l'aise. Franco Iberia vous accueille chaleureusement. So French. We are so pleased you have come to visit. May I offer you wine or a sweet? So, we've got Franco-Iberia here. Got nothing to do about you. Can you heal right now? Yeah, there we are, heal. I 
maybe culture wouldn't be bad to do next. We still got four more turns to do absolutely nothing. Oh, and another one. Oh joy. Mandira. The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. Kavitha Thakur of Kavathan Protectorate. I wonder if she was named after the Protectorate or the Protectorate after her. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, they're not too far. We're definitely... We're, we seem to be closest to the African Union there. I really want to get that crashed satellite, though. When is the ultrasonic fence? That's good. Food from desert, good. My Isaac Pulsar, that's what I want. Yes, very nice. I want that. Uh, you can... I'll just have you... Yeah, you can fortify... Keep going. I don't... Another one. This one's far away, though. We're getting a lot of new cough friends. El pueblo unido de Sudamérica le da la bienvenida. Reginaldo de Alencar of Brasilia. They are an aggressive guy. They will fight us real hard. They get plus 10% to all melee combat, so that's nasty. Yeah, let's just do next turn. What was the name of the city to? Um, wait, hold on. The aliens, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what was the city? Sidaya? Sidaya? No, Sidella. Two L's is, uh... Two L's is, yeah. I'm such culture. Next turn. We're just kind of waiting around for all this to get done. This so alien world is dangerous, and we are vulnerable to attack. I suggest that you build additional military units to explore and to defend our settlement. Hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Now that we have a worker, we can order them to construct improvements to boost the productivity of our territory. Move your worker to a highlighted tile and construct an improvement. Alright, thank you. Now, what do we want here? We've got forest, plains, grassland, fiber. Fiber looks kind of nice. Uh, let's move you right there. And the worker can go there as well. They can be stacked. That will get us construct a plantation real nice. And we've got some roads. Yeah, let's do the plantation. And still two more turns to ecology. I think an old earth relic would be good to get right now. It's kind of just an early waiting phase. No village was ever ruined by trade. Excuse me? No village was ever great rigged by trade? I am... Um, Let us lay the foundation for a prosperous future by establishing a cooperation agreement. Do you consent? I don't know exactly what those are. I guess this is just a declaration of friendship? So yeah, let's go for it. Why not? He's the first one to do it. He's kind of close. We don't want to be too pissy with him since he's so near to us. And uh, yeah, you can fortify. Uh, forging a strong bond between the two colonies. As long as they don't settle on my island, I am fine. I don't need to get pissy with anybody. Ooh. No village was ever ruined by trade. I don't know what that r the word that he says that starts with an R. No village ever grrr from trade. I'm sorry, I do not understand so good. No speak of the English. I don't, at least. The diplomatic trading screen allows you to... Yes, yes, I think I get that. Uh, open borders. Um, hmm. I believe it's our mutual interest to allow free passage between our territories. You know... <sighs> sure, why not? Why the... Certainly. Certainly. I'm curious what the other language that he's kind of... Pigeoning with English to make is... Oops. Our engineering groups have discovered a new efficient method to build and deploy satellites. Once constructed, you can launch a satellite to the orbital layer 
which will allow you to project abilities or firepower down to the world below. Choose its final orbital location carefully, as it cannot be moved once deployed. Okay, interesting. Ecology. When the... Oh, this is interesting. These are... Uh, when Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. Cool. Unlike in Civ Five, where it's all about quotes, this, well, I mean, this is still a quote, but this is from fiction as opposed to a historical resource. A historical source. I'll continue. I think we can continue with the Earth Relic before we uh, start doing anything else. But research. How about we'll go with pioneering? Planetary survey. Work barge. I think that's kind of like a fishing boat. Just everything is going to be Civ 5 comparisons, guys. Because that's what I know. I don't know this. Are we going to be meeting anyone else? Minor powers. Hmm. Alright, the aliens haven't even gotten into our territory yet, so that's nice. The city has grown, and now it's up to f down to four. We're doing okay, though. We're doing all right. And we're about to get our virtue. Now we can actually choose what we want. Synergy bonus. Hmm. 10% uh, food re retained after a city grows. 10% science when we're healthy. I'm kind of like in... Hmm. Social more is interesting. Homesteading. Frugality. Adaptive tactics. Survivalism. Military industrial complex. Public security. I didn't really look at any of these. Uh, what the names of them are. I think I'm like in foresight right now. Because 10% science when healthy. And four more knowledge virtues until next synergy bonus. Alright, so it's more it's vertical and horizontal bonus and stuff. Five more tier virtues until next synergy yes, yes, choose free thing. So it's like we get so many in this column we'll get ten percent science in every city. And we get like all of them in this row we'll get a free virtue, so that might not be a bad thing to do. We're gonna be versatile. But normally versatile isn't the best thing in Civ. I don't know. We'll see, though. I'm working with it. I mean, it's on the regular difficulty, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Quest updated. Station charter. Several new... Uh, several new virtues... Ventures... Wish to establish their operation near our territory. They provide different services that may be useful to us... Golden Bell Temple provides one food, one energy, and two culture to any city that establishes a trade route. Church of Dawn's Light uh, provides one food, three culture to any city, a trade route. Which venture would you like to uh, do? Hmm, interesting. So we got some religious organizations. I don't know how... We're, how are we doing on energy? We are... we seem solid on energy. I think we need more culture at the moment than anything, but I'm also gonna get a lot more culture from this old earth relic. Ultrasonic fence. Oh, one food from desert. We're not gonna need that quite yet. It will be useful though when we get this desert. One... One, two, three... Then, like, one, two, one, two, uh, hmm, huh, whatever. Anyway, what would be a good thing to do? Or I'm gonna need to end this off shortly, though. I think I'm doing fine on energy, so I guess I'll go with the Church of Dawn's Light. I'm kind of curious what these guys are. Oh, wow, it's you have discovered there. a station. You can establish trade routes with stations to receive various supplies that your people may need. So they, they're kind of like city-states in a way, but not really similar. They're like smaller players. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, trade route. Very nice. Church of Dawn's Light. That will be difficult to make a trade route to. With all these aliens going past. But uh, there's not too much miasma, but we should be able to clean that out. Not too difficult fully. Yeah, quest completed. Alright, very nice. I'm kind of curious if it says anything about uh, the Church of Dawn's Light in the Civipedia. Alright, we, we got one of our tiles upgraded. We got a plantation there. And this is Grassland River. That, that provides energy, Grassland. Yeah, this worker, you can go down here and start making... Maybe a road wouldn't be too bad, but this is kind of dangerous direction here. Xenomass alien nest. I want to try and avoid fighting aliens for as long as possible. Let's just build a farm there. And we will start building a miasmic repulsor. Because that's the only way that I'm going to be getting up to that crashed satellite. And it's also going to help for getting to that church or whatever. And then... And soon we're going to be wanting to get a colonist, too. Because I'm really liking that position, and I don't want anyone taking any of this from me. I'll move along the coast. So, thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I'm Cy Rock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.